PDP right now may have hurt the heart of majority of Igbo political gladiators. How can they appeal to them? Um, so, so Sheriff, I have a theory, and um, as, as I speak, I'm currently writing that, you know, as a, a piece for um, to, to put on Nigerian Fools website. Um, again, political parties exist to win power, mm. and as hard as we might say this is, mm. PDP's best chance of getting power is to field a northerner. That's, mm. that's the hard truth that, mm. you know, we might not want to agree with, but mm. it is still, you know, the way it is. Practical terms. If you calculate the votes mm. from the Southeast mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. one or two states. Now, there's, there's also the allegation and the argument that a lot of the votes in some states, mm. you know, are over bloated. Some states in the North, some states in the South. You could argue that some of the KKK states, you know, allegedly have over bloated figures mm. you could argue that states like delta and rivers in the south also have uh, allegedly over bloated figures right. but let's ju let's judge based on the figures we've had at least from 2019 and 2015 mm. you would notice that calculate the votes from the southeast put together two states in the north mm. and alone mm -hmm. will cover up those five the, the entire, um, the vote, those, voting strength the, of these of the southeast mm. so in practical terms you want to, and again, I remember I said that most Nigerians still vote on sentiment. That's right, you said that. The average Igbo man would most likely vote for a Peter Obi if Peter Obi is on the ballot. No question. Mm -hmm. The average northerner would most likely vote for an Atiku if Atiku is on, 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 on the ballot. That's, that's not even an argument. So, at the end of the day, for me, what, 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 the, the process I think the PDP should adopt because, like it or lump it, Atiku Abubakar would most likely 70% chance that he will get the ticket of the, of the, PDP. Of the PDP. You know why? Why? To win such elections, you need the name, you need the connection, and you need a lot of money. Mm -hmm. In case many people do not know, mm -hmm. this time 30 years ago, mm -hmm. Atiku Abubakar contested, contested for the presidency of Nigeria. He came third behind the late M. Abiola and Baba Gana Kingibe. That's how much of connections Atiku has. 30 years ago. 30 years ago, he contested for the presidency of the then SDP. Mm. He was third. That's, that's after, of course, Babangida had um, disqualified some politicians. Mm. You know. But the point I'm trying to make is, this man has been in politics for a long time. Right. He, he was a former vice president. He's got that connection. Mm. And I can bet here that now that the PDP has reportedly thrown it open, mm. he would most likely get that presidential ticket. Mm. Here's what I think he should do. Okay. I think he should come out to assuage the feelings of a lot of persons in the South. Mm. I think he should come out plainly and tell Nigerians that he would only go for one term. That's what I think he should do. Why? Why should he do that? Pick Peter Obi as his vice presidential um, candidate, just like he did in 2019. Okay. And if he now says... I'm going for one term. Mm -hmm. What that automatically means is that if the PDP wins and he becomes president and Peter Obi is his vice, mm -hmm. it automa automatically means that in four years' time, an Igbo man would have a great chance of becoming president. Mm -hmm. I think he's not going to stop contesting in 2023. Mm -hmm. That's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. Bukala Saraki will not stop. Mm -hmm. um, Bala Mohammed will, will not stop. stop. Mm -hmm. These northern politicians, Tambua, will not stop. Mm -hmm. And PDP has given them that platform to say we are throwing it open. Mm. So as, as much as we want to quarrel with that decision, right. the practical reality is that most likely a northerner will get the ticket. Not even Yesom Wike would be able to beat for all his braggadocio. He would not be able to beat an article Abubakar. Trust me. No. That's the practical reality. Mm. So if, for example, an article wins the candidacy, right. I would suggest to him, tell the world, tell Nigerians mm. that I'm going for one term. Pick Peter Obi as his um, VP candidate. Yeah. That it will not assuage everybody, mm -hmm. but I think in practical terms that will give the PDP a lot more chance. Right.